Brian here uh, from quantlabs.net, uh, working on the second step on creating a basic, uh, primitive, high-frequency trading platform. Um, in the first step, I went through on how you can build uh, or use a popular uh, TWS API, TWS being uh, from Interactive Brokers, the um, their software to connect into their gateway. So now we're now moving on to our second step, which is using Redis, which is a fairly modern um, NoSQL in memory database. Now, this differs from something like Hadoop because Hadoop um, is more uh, built around uh, uh, a file system which is spread out through a cluster of. Uh, of uh, workers. Um, in this case with Redis, it's a bit better. I mean, I've, I've posted enough about Redis and uh, it's in memory. It does have cl clustering capabilities, has a great back end um, when you start working with uh, R and some other things as well. So what I want to show you is that this is going to be the um, part of the, hopefully the uh, high frequency trading platform HFT which will be used for uh, persistence, but obviously primarily used for in-memory to handle all the tick data, market data, that sort of thing. So let's get to it. Now, before I proceed, I just wanted to mention one thing about um, this. Actually, no, let's proceed. All right, so when you come into redis.io here, uh, you just come under download, um, and obviously you have two different versions. Uh, I, I just go with the latest stable, 2.6. Um, but I do need to uh, make you aware of that uh, the Win version or the Windows version isn't really something recommended. It's one of the other reasons why I'm going with uh, Linux versus Windows is that uh, Microsoft right now is working on their own implementation of it, um, but... Uh, it's really meant this current version is really meant for uh, Linux so knowing that uh, let's proceed okay so these are your instructions once you get into your Linux uh, environment in a terminal uh, run those and that's all you need to do that's it this make obviously will build the uh, source code um, and then you can start the server run a server by running that and then you can go through the client uh, just to test everything and see if it's okay. But one thing I want you to be aware of um, is, uh, no, I'll leave that for another time. Okay, so let's move into our virtual machine for Linux and Ubuntu using Oracle VirtualBox. Um, so right here, is the uh, Redis server now? Based upon those command that command uh, that I ran, this Redis server uh, right here. This is it. This terminal right here, and that's what it will look like. Um, so it's it's now accepting and, and waiting for our Redis clients to come in and uh, start processing within this server. Um, there's there's a whole slew of uh, other configuration settings you can set for Redis, but I'm going to leave that for another day or let you guys play with that. I've got so many videos on Redis, it's not funny. But the whole purpose of this video is just to show the connection uh, from uh, a C or C++ application into this Redis server. So I'm going to show you that um, now. So we've got the Redis server running. Now to get to this point using something like Cassandra, Cow, all of them, even Hadoop, as you can see that there's it's so easy to set up Redis. It's, it's that it, that's simple. Four steps: initial or uh, run the server, and you can now run with a, a Redis uh, a client, whatever the programming language you use. In this case, obviously we're using um, C or C++. So let me just come into the clients. Now this client right here for C++ as well. Let's just leave it. It's something I wouldn't recommend. Um, but there's this one written by the same author or founder of Redis. Uh, this appears to work out of the box, but it's C. Uh, that should be a big deal. Um, so let's move over to that one. Okay. 
So we're now in the Redis uh, or high, uh, Redis, high Redis, under the GitHub. Uh, here's the URL. And uh, essentially, what we're going to do is let's take a look at uh, the README. Okay, um, and it's got some blah 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 stuff that you should obviously you should read. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but what I do worry about is I want to show you something uh, with uh, Redis and the Red, this high Redis client. Um, if you do an ls and when you zip it, extract it from, from GitHub, um, and when you make it <clears throat> or build it, you'll get three bin files that are equivalent of executables, well actually two really, um, that you run to test the library of high Redis to make sure it does connect into the Redis server. So we're going to run that, but before I do that, I just want to show you the basic source code. Now, although the uh, binary name of these files might be different, this is a source file that is, is the example that uses the API or library of this high Redis this in C. So what it'll do is, obviously it'll connect into the, uh, into the uh, um, into Redis server, obviously it's, it's all local. So you can you can change that if you want if the IP is different, um, and then what you do is you get a ping, uh, and they'll uh, respond, usually with a pong. That's the standard. Does a set, and it will uh, res will print out the uh, response of that set, another set, um, and then we'll do a get, and then we should get usually uh, because Redis is more like a a key mapping uh, type of uh, database. We'll do a get um, because we set um, the foo. We should get back this response of hello world, um, and then there's some increment increments and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and run that uh, little guy. Um, so we're gonna run high Redis. Uh, hi Redis uh, example. Let's see what happens here. So here we go. So it has connected into the uh, database into the Redis server. We get the pong. We got the sets. Okay, okay. As I said, we were expecting to get on the foo. Got the hello world, and we got all those uh, um, incrementers and all these elements and blah blah blah. So if I break this session. What will happen is this should not run. So there you go. It says connection refused. But when I reload the Redis server and rerun my uh, high Redis example, it's now running again. Uh, so we've met the mission of this video. Um, just wanted to show the basics of it. Again, this is all done in C. Redis is the what I'll be using for my HFT uh, platform for persistence and ma basically managing data, um, and uh, it's it's a very good database and uh, hopefully this will help you out and give you a demo or a better idea of why I'm using Redis. It's very simple, very fast, and it always comes up as a top contender for databases. Something kind of new for high frequency traders, I guess. I, I don't know if they actually would use something like this, but the first time I've seen it. So there you go. I hope they help you out.